Hey everyone. If you enjoy watching entertaining and informative content, then you definitely need to check out Real Members Only TV. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an upload. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on your favorite videos to let us know what you love about our channel. We appreciate our viewers and look forward to bringing you more quality content. Thanks for supporting Real Members Only TV. Shit, where we at with it? Godfather, Shit, where we at with it? Godfather, the hardest thing to do is put your child in prison. Right. But he saved your life. When he said that, man, I broke down like a little girl, stopped crying. I didn't care who was looking. I was hurt because he, he, he shook me with, damn, my daddy loved me that much that he put me in prison instead of letting me get killed, you know, and I thought about it and I knew he was sick. And I just wanted to, I wanted to see him, man. So I just started praying, God, get me out of here. The fact that that's when the cops was sticking up drug dealers. They was robbing, you know, taking their stuff, splitting their money. Batman and Robin, you know the name. Yeah, yeah, I know that name. Yeah. Split my money up in front of me and the guns and stuff. They they did was doing so much, they never read me my rights. And uh -huh. that one little thing sent me home. Yeah. I was that's facing bad. three class X felony six to 30 each that's that's powerful there yeah. that's a real powerful story right there and that's your testimony you gotta yeah you you definitely you definitely grew on that one I, I i see it all in you you know what i mean and i, I appreciate you for sharing that story and and, and not to, to 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 fast forward it but to fast forward you to doing award shows you know i've been seeing that for a couple for some years you know what i'm saying like how did that start what's that about tell me a little bit about that well, you know, the award show, um, I started that here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Um, actually, I'm getting ready to do the 14th annual this year. This is the 14th year. So 14 years ago, I decided, I'm like, man, you know, when I was coming up, a lot of people didn't show the rappers the appreciation that they should have gotten. True that. That was some, that was rappers like JMD. Yeah. I, I, ne I never, I never, I never show hatred toward any artist. I give them their, I give them their props. When you, when you deserve it, you deserve it. JMD. At the time, Ice Cold. Right now, you go by the name um, Black Ice. He's the poet king. But at the time, he was Ice Cold Ultimate Warrior. When it right. came to hip hop, this dude was like a performer, like Big Daddy Kane. Had his dancers, the whole works. Yeah. That was um, artists like Da Smart. Yeah. Um, and Mo um, Money T. A lot of different different artists that wasn't being acknowledged. Right along with Top and myself, the way True we should have been. The older guys, um, Cass, but he doing the, the one did a cha cha slide. He was actually a rapper. A lot of people didn't give a lot of the rappers they flowers until they start passing away. 3D, all of these guys yeah, that I came yeah. up with. Me too. So I just sat. I, I got decided, two names. I got two names. Uh, I wonder if, if you knew Pink House and Cool Rock's daddy. Pink House, um, he was the one that started getting me in top to perform. We would go to, he would call us when, when Will, the Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince come to um, KKC, we got to play ball with them. Then we got to open up at the oh. Airy Crown for them do, because of Pink House. He opened a lot of doors for me and, Tom, and a lot of other rappers. Mm. Um, and you say Cool Rock. Cool Rock steady, him and Top was like, would clash heads all the time because they both was, they was both stubborn. They right. both wanted to be that top guy. But I have mad respect for um Cool Rock Steady, man. He rest in peace. Um, him and his guy, um, Sinbad the Slayer, we battled them a few times. They beat us, we beat them. It was never we the greatest because we both kept we, we would beat each other off and on. So it became a mutual thing. So, you know, it was, it was no ill feelings with him. He was one of the greats too, you know. Um, but it's it's just a lot of things, man. And but I just decided that. Sitting around seeing all the artists here in Green Bay and watching, watching all of the different rappers all over, and I start telling these young guys, you know, everybody's not gonna get on walk across that BET stage. Right. Everybody's not gonna go to BET. You're not gonna get awards from BET, but you need to start appreciating each other right now. So what I took, I took it upon myself, came out of my own pocket, and I start. I pay for trophies, and I, I pay for the little site to set it up where. I can put it out there and they can vote. And all of a sudden it went from just rappers in Green Bay names being there to rappers from Kentucky, rappers from Illinois, rappers from Michigan, 
just all kind of along. I hit that button to turn. I uh, yeah yeah yeah. But yeah, 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 man. You got it. You got it. You got a, a lot of history, man. You you got a you got a whole bunch. I know you can't even cram it all in 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 in, in one setting. You know what I'm saying? That that war show thing, that is a truly powerful thing, man. I mean, you still doing it or? Yeah, this um August the nineteenth is um the fourteenth annual Dubsies Awards show, and this year I'm doing it different. I'm not voting on you know. I'm not voting for artists everywhere. I'm actually honoring some of the old heads in the game that I feel never got their recognition. Right. So I reached out to them, like, hey, you know, I'm honoring you, this year. I'm honoring you, the blah, 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 you know, be here. And that, that's how it is, you know. And a lot of people used to always say, man, you never picked me. And I, they don't realize that I wasn't picking the winners. It's, it was my event, but I won't pick the winners. Your fans pick them. Right. So if you got issues and you would not being picked, you need to step your game up and get up with your fans. Right. But this year, I'm picking who I want to honor because a lot of times I would say that's a lot of people that won that shouldn't have because they didn't really earn it, but they fans voted for them. So, you know, that, they, they got, got out and did the footwork. Right, right, right. It's a different type of politics when it comes to that thing, man. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to definitely tap in with you that, man, because I like that idea. That's a real powerful idea. So I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely want to be a part of to, uh, but look, it's something else I want to get into, you know, and I don't know if you really want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it it it's 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 a touchy subject. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's a real person, but you know I know the world want to know. You know what I'm saying? And I know you might want to, you know what I'm saying, touch on a few issues with it. Didn't you know Zach Zach TV? Of course I knew Zach. Zach was my first. Zach made me an uncle. Yeah. That was my first. That was. Out of my siblings, that that was you know that was the first nephew. Right, right. What that can was, you that tell me about Zach? What can you... You, you know when Zach when Zach was born, you know my old my older sister, Zach went everywhere with me. A lot of people thought he was my baby because I kept I had him a lot. Right. You know he was a little fat, cuddly black baby. He looked like it could have been mine, but it was my nephew. Right. So he was around me a lot man and um everything everything that Zach stood for even growing up you know most kids got you got issues where you gotta scold them you got Zach always been kind of different he was different from the from the jump you know he was he was just that energetic always ready to go do always want to help somebody always sometimes I, I you know we had to tell him you can't help everybody but I got the same problem so I understood where it came from a lot of times people say, hey, Dub, you can't help everybody. And in my head, I go, well, yes, I can. And that was the same, that was the same driving attitude that Zach had, man. So maybe he rest people. Where do you think he get that vision from to pick up that camera and do what he did? Because he started that trend doing what he doing and how he did it. You know what I'm saying? He said he said a, a whole trend, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody been able to take off like that again. You know what I'm saying? Well, what what you think he get got that vision from to do that or inspire him to pick up that camera like that? You, you know what that he came, he, he he left Chicago at a young age, came to Green Bay. Um, he stayed up here with, with my sister. And at, at the time that he got here, I was part of an organization called a 606 click. We we was like probably the first or second rap group here that was planted here, had CDs, you know, had music come out. And that made an impact here because, you know, when I came here, there was no hip hop here. Just as I'm a legend in Chicago, also I'm a legend in Green Bay, not to pat myself, just telling it like it is because I brought the hip hop movement here. Right. So we and um, one that we was filming a video for one of the um, 606 songs, Zach and his little brother, um, Xavier, they, they was there. And. And, you know, the guy that was doing the video, filming the video, you know, he was like, man, you knew that Zach was like, what, Zach was probably like 11, 12, wait, why 12? He's asking all these questions to the cameraman. He want to know this, he want to know why is that, what is this, how you do that, and what do we just do? And he was just like, wanted to know. So at one point, you know, after the video was done and everything, he started hanging around more often. And as he got a little older, probably a couple of years later, um, I had I had different kind of cameras and you know I get stuff and I don't really mess with it. I just get it because somebody got it and I gave Zach one. And this dude started hanging out with his friends. Next thing I know, 
I would see, he, he was Uncle Willie, look what I got. He come out, he done did an interview with some boys playing basketball at the park. Right. Just a regular game, he go interview them. He do shots with each one of them. And then he learned, he started learning to edit. And I'm like, man, this going to gonna be something. But I didn't think much of it. All of a sudden, Zach took it serious, man. He, he, got, he got him a little job. He went bought the real equipment piece by piece. Then I noticed, I said, you know, he's like, man, so this guy finna pay me to do an interview with him. Oh, okay, that's cool. Then it starts just, just growing, man. He's Zach TV style blowing up. And a lot of people don't know Chief Keith's first interview before he got famous was on Zach TV. Mm, Zach did a lot of people's first interviews, I think. Lil Dirk's interview, Zach TV. Yeah. Yeah, Zach, so he sure started that trend, man. And, and the people responsible for his murder still ain't been, ain't nobody been, been picked up or caught. I didn't see a few snippets, but. Yeah. You know, it's, it's still, yeah, you know, it's, it's a street thing. You know what it is. Right, right, right. But um, do that. Yeah. a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't realize, like, they, they try to get FBG and Zach to back, to go, you know, not like, FBG and Zach went to school together. People didn't know that. I ain't know that. Back, back, you know, back when Zach was little, you know, he went before he came, you know, he his mom stayed on St. over there on St. Lawrence. Right. And I used to go over there and she would say, you got to be careful here because these boys over here, da, 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 da. FBG them was young, but the neighborhood was still kind of the same. Right. So, you know, I would slide in there, you know, and slide up out of there because I didn't, you know, a lot of people at the time I was known for my affiliation. So I, I just didn't want my sister and them to deal with situations because of me. Right. But um Zach and FBG Duck, they went to school together. That's why if you listen to that Chicago Legend video when he talk about Zach, he says, see, they don't know I knew you way before the videos and all that. He, they went to school together. They was buddies. Who that? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy that man. Rest in peace to that man. True legend, true legend, Zach, man. Yeah. But look, the music scene. How you feel about the Chicago music scene today? You, you know, um,